All right, so what this is is a demonstration of the mini combos in the Gladiator Beast deck. A lot of people ask, um, you know, what do you do with Rescue Cat? You know, how do I combo with this thing? And, you know, for me, I thought a lot of it was, uh, you know, apparent or like self explanatory, but, you know, I, I really shouldn't take uh, things like that for granted. So that's the point of this video. So let's get into it. So the first thing we do is summon the rescue cat. That's our normal summon for the turn, so there's nothing else we can do. We have the uh, fractal in hand, but we're not going to use that yet, um, primarily because, you know, I'm going to be showing you this full combo, and it has a lot to do with the tri brigade. So I'm going to activate rescue cat's effect, send it to the graveyard, and special summon a gladiator beast and a tri brigade monster. Typically a Sam Knight and Kit. Um, we got other options, but you want to summon Kit and you want to summon something else. Uh, typically, you want it to be Sam Knight. You want it to be a Gladiator Beast so you can get your combo started. You always need at least one Gladiator Beast. Now we got one. All right. So now that we've done this, now we have an option to go into uh, Rank 2 uh, Play. So either we can go into Test Panther, which will allow us to do Gladiator Beast stuff, or we can go into uh, Frigit. Um, which will allow us to set up our board for this next play, which we're going to use um, because we don't have any other gladiators and we're going first. So let's go ahead and send this and this to the grave. Now we have a gladiator beast monster in the grave and we just sent Kit to the grave, meaning um, that we have more combo potential. So we just use one card to create a rank two link and we're going to get Kit's effect in the graveyard. We're just gonna dump a card from the deck. And you see now, this is why I played three Nerval because I opened with two. That's very unlikely. We still got one and we're going first. This is the only opportunity to make this play. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this card and then we're gonna activate the effect and then we're gonna add a card to our hand. Now, you got a lot of different options here but we're not gonna add Fractal because we already have Fractal and both Nervals are in our hand. Um, we're not going to go and get Kit because, again, both of these are in our hand. Nine times out of ten, it's always good to get this guy. There's only one in a deck, and anytime you can grab it, you should get it. Now we have options here because we uh, used our normal summon, but now we want to do a special summon. And why do we want a special summon a monster? Because we're going to rank up to rank three. So we're going to go ahead and activate this. Uh, we're going to special summon uh, Nerval. Nerval's a wing beast. And you know why we're summoning a wing beast. So we're going to go ahead and summon this wing beast. Then we're going to go ahead and link them off. Link three. Here's the sovereignty bird. Drop sovereignty. Activate Frigit. Draw and dump. So we've already got this in our hand. Well, not dump. Add it back to the deck. We've already got some back row destruction in our, in our hand, but we really need to send this back to the deck because it kind of locks up our combos by having this in the hand. So we're gonna send this back. And then since it's the end of our, well, it's not the end of our turn, we still got plays here. So if you look in the graveyard, you see one, two, three, four, five, six cards in the grave. We have five cards on board. And when we end turn, we're gonna have six. So we plus one off of the rescue cat. You see what I'm saying? So the rescue cat is a plus one in the gladiator beast deck. If it summons out some org and some org is successful summoning out its um, final monster. So we're just going to set over here. Now you got to remember some org says that it can summon a monster based on the level of the open spell and trap zones on the field. So don't forget that. Don't set a bunch of back row. If you set a bunch of back row and uh, you try to use some more effect, you're not going to be able to summon your level seven monster. There's 10 spaces open. I set one card. That means there's nine spaces open. I can summon something from nine and below, and I'm going to go ahead and summon um, the um, our Omni game. I'm going to summon the Apex Avian. So let's just summon Apex Avian. And then we pass. So right here, we have six cards. This is a plus one. See? six cards of the plus one off a of rescue cat and we were going first it sets us up with the omni gate or we could put a floodgate on the field which is the um hilariously i'm gonna go ahead and use this i'm gonna discard uh 
this card because I don't think we're going to need this against the deck. Uh, either way, we got an Omni Negate, but we're playing against the computer, so it doesn't really matter. And realistically, um, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, after you make this play, you know, honestly, you might not even want to set anything at all, but I, I just set for the sake of this. But realistically, at the end of the turn, your opponent does whatever they do. If this bird survives, what is your next move going to be? You're either going to summon Bestiari so that you can combo off and uh, blow cards up. Because next turn, we're going to be able to summon out a Gladiator Beast using either one of these um, Tribrigate monsters. Or number two, you want to summon out your Tribrigate monster so you can go ahead and just summon uh, Omen immediately. So let's do an Omen play uh, for the sake of the viewers, my boy. So we're going to go ahead and summon another Winged Beast under the protection of Sovereignty. Any cards co-linked, meaning these arrows are pointed to the monsters, pretty much are going to um, keep these monsters from being targeted by our opponent's effects. So now we're going to go ahead and activate the effect. We're going to hit four. And this one, we didn't even have to use a Gladiator Beast. I mean, we didn't even play any glad make any Gladiator Beast plays. But, you know, depending on who you're playing against, what deck it is, you know, this could, this could be game time. So um, we're going to go ahead and summon up. Um, the Omen's here. Omen's going to go ahead and get that good Banish. Yeah, get this out of here. It's a Gladiator Beast. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and summon and we're going to attack for game now. We'll go ahead and just attack for game. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You see how Test Tiger, uh, not Test Tiger, see how Rescue Cat um, plus one uh, from that play? And that Rescue Cat play took us into an Omni Negate and it was a good, strong go first play. So let's take a look at another one. All right, this time we're going second. Opened up with Rescue Cat again. Get to show you guys more rescue cat plays. Hope you guys get to enjoy this. So a lot of people ask this question, you know, you know, like what am I supposed to do against all these like crazy decks that everybody's playing that has all these different abilities and things you got to dodge around. Dark Ruler No More is the easy answer to that. But I took that stuff out because I played a lot of Eldridge and against Eldridge, Harpy Feather Duster Twin Twister is a strong open. A lot of people have moved Eldritch. I don't know why. And I or I don't know the experience, you know, like that you're having on rank. But my experience is nothing but Eldritch and Sky Striker when I'm trying to climb. So let's go ahead and blow up the back row. And I'm gonna demonstrate to you this rescue cat play because we actually got a pretty good hand to show you. So let's go ahead and use our normal summon, summon rescue cat. Activate rescue cat's effect, send it to the grave to summon Kit and Sam Knight. We're gonna go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and do this. Now, we got a lot of options here. If we go into Fractal like we did last time, we can special summon Darius from the hand and do other things. But we're not going to do that because I'm going to show you we're going second. So I'm going to show you um, the combo that, you know, our go second combo, what a go second combo really looks like. So we're going to go ahead and link this off for Test Panther. And uh, we already opened with Kit in the hand. That's great. Um, because we kind of don't need um, uh, the Darius. So I'll show you why. So we're going to activate Kit's effect. And then we're going to activate Test Panther. And then Test Panther is going to go first because it's the second one we chose. And I just like to do it like that. There's no particular reason. I'm going to go ahead and add Gladiator Beast Comeback. And then Kit's effect is going to activate. And then we're going to special summon... Uh, uh, I mean, send a card to the graveyard. So we're going to send Narvels to the grave. Uh, Narvels effect activates, and we're going to send another card to the grave, which, I mean, add a card to the hand. And you know which card we're going to add because, you know, it's the special, it's the one that special summons a lot. For some reason, I've watched people build Tri Brigade decks and not include this card. It's kind of silly because this is the inevitable um, card that you will get to at the end of your Tri Brigade dump. You know, you should be adding this card because this is going to be your special summon. You can go beyond your normal summon. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dump Darius because two reasons. One, we have comeback in hand. And two, we want Kit for our next turn negation. So we're going to summon this card. And then we're going to activate its effect. And we're going to go ahead. Thanks for the subscribe, my boy. 
we're going to go ahead and banish two cards from the graveyard. So let's, for the sake of this example, we're going to banish Rescue Cat and Kit. Um, banish these two cards. And then we're going to summon out our Gladiator Beast. All right. So now we got some great options. Remember, we were going second. So going second means you open with six cards. Right now, we're already at plus one. It's not even the battle. So let's keep counting our pluses. Battle phase. We're going to attack a monster. He can't respond because when Gladiator Beast monsters are attacking while uh, Dragonus is on the field, pretty much, there's nothing that your opponent can do once the attack has been commenced. Normally, after I attack with this, I stop attacking. There's a lot of effects that activate that can come out the hand and blow up cards and do all this stuff when you attack. Don't bother attacking unless you don't have the protection because what matters is the main phase two combo and you don't want to jeopardize that by you know getting greedy for something like damage damage doesn't do shit so let's go ahead and dump two cards from the uh summon two cards here's one here's two and here's our combo we're gonna go ahead and dump um, a high level monster and then we're gonna go ahead and dump um a bestiari from the deck Okay, so let's go ahead and dump that bestie. Yeet. All right, so now we've already did our Test Panther. Con we've already summoned Test Panther. We do not have to, uh, you know, bother with trying to do that again. And as I mentioned to you before, we already got comeback. We only play one comeback. And I told you guys before, if you can get three monsters on the board, you can set up the ultimate field. And right now I have three monsters on the board plus a link. So I'm definitely going to set up my game winning field now. So let's go ahead. And the first card we're going to summon is Gladiator Beast Tamer Editor. Since both of these monsters are level five or higher, we can summon this card out with Contact Fusion. Then we activate Tamer Editor's effect to special summon out Gladiator Beast Domitianus. Now this card is really good. It can negate all monster effects and control the battle. Then we're not done because we're going to have to send Tamer Editor to Graveyard, but how are we going to do that? Well, there's two ways we can do it. Either we can link to a rank four, which is cool, uh, but I don't think we should do that right now. Or we could link to a rank two, which is also better. And linking at the rank two will not only give us an opportunity to special summon from the hand, which we don't need to do, but um, when it goes away later on for this next play, uh, we'll be able to... Um, we'll be able to draw a card. So basically we're gonna have to hit our rank two. So we're gonna send these two cards to the graveyard. And then we're gonna summon out Frajit. Now Frajit is a beast. Test Panther is a beast. And Gladiator Beast Domitianus is a sea serpent. The reason why I did it in this order is because if you don't pay attention to this card, this is a powerful card. You can special summon the Gladiator Beast that has a different type than the monsters that you currently control. And that monster can't die by battle. So I have to make sure I do this combo correctly by starting out with Domitianus. And coincidentally, it's the best card to go out with because your opponent can't stop you with monster effects once you get Domitianus out. So then we're going to go ahead and activate called uh, Gladiator Beast Comeback. And then we're going to go ahead and bring back our Tamer Editor in defense mode. And then we're gonna activate Tamer Editor's effect. And then we're gonna go ahead and special summon out Gladiator Beast Heraklos. Now, remember, um, we're, we still have not used Test Panther's effect. So because we use Test Panther's effect, we're gonna go ahead and send back this Tamer Editor. We're gonna lose that not being destroyed by battle effect, which is fine. And we're gonna um, replace it with a plus one real quick. So let's go ahead and put a card back in our hand. I'm always taking the comeback because comeback, you know, can help you come back. <laughs> and then um, now we have four cards in hand. Um, now's the time. So here's the option we have. We can either keep this on the board and link into our rank three, or we can go into a rank uh, four and leave this on the board, or we can go into uh, the rank four Appaloosa and basically have three monsters for it. But for this example, I'm gonna, just gonna do the lockout play. So we're gonna do a lockout play here. Let's go ahead and um, we're gonna count everybody for one. So no, 
two, three. We're going to link three. We're going to summon our sovereignty bird to the opposite side of the field that we put Domitianus and Gladiator Beast Heraklonos. The reason for that is because we have at least three winged beasts we can summon, which will be Omen, Nerval, and the uh, statue or Apex Avian, or statue, Apex Avian, and maybe a Gladiator Beast. But we gotta have three spaces open for three winged beasts. This space is open for the three winged beasts, so we got our field set up perfectly and in a way that will be advantageous for us moving forward. So you gotta think about that too, because it's not just about the field, it's about field placement as well, and that's extremely important. Now, I got the opportunity to draw and put a card down. Since I'm going second, you gotta really understand this is main phase two going second, and I was able to sneak off an attack against my opponent. Because of that, I need to be thinking strategically on what these negates are going to build up for against my opponent and how hard it's going to be for them to win. Well, I don't think I'm going to need Gladiator Beast comeback anymore, and I can definitely get it back. So I'm going to put it back into uh, the deck. And right now, we have Kit, Ash, Twin Twister, and Called by the Grave. Online, unless they had a Kaiju or something else, there's no way they're getting out of this. But we're going to go ahead and set one card over here because we might have to use it on them. Uh, and then we're gonna end turn because we because we might be able to get um, some benefit by just destroying the back row. So now we're gonna summon Barrier Statue. So this is the reason why we do this, okay? So now you're looking at Barrier Statue. You're looking at a monster that says that pretty much this card can special summon a Wing Beast and you can't target. So you got Barrier Statue here and then you're gonna summon Apex Avian. So when you summon the Apex Avian, this is pretty much this combo completed. Now you have Apex Avian sitting on the field with Barrier Statue, Herc, and Domitianus. And you top deck Urigeki. I mean, honestly, this, this is the game. This is game time. We're going to leave this in defense mode because there's no reason to put it into attack mode. And we're going to go ahead and just play this Regeki so we can go ahead and wrap this duel up. But... Because he couldn't special summon at all, there was nothing he could really do. I mean, honestly, it's, this is just, it's, it's busted. <laughs> it's just busted. So right now we have um, one, two, three, four negates in hand because Kit's effect will dump and allow you to go get Nerval and then, and then Nerval will add a card to your hand. It'll probably be another Kit. But using Kit and Nerval as a cost, um, uh, as, or, or using Kit and Nerval as like currency for the cost of Gladiator Beast Heraklonos' effect actually is super good because basically you're getting two negates for one card. And um, at this point, you know, that's that's the whole point of Gladiator Beast. You know, you get the attack, you go into main phase two, you hold the field for one turn, and then you win on the next turn. Um, and that's it in a nutshell, my boy. So let's just go ahead and just wrap this duel up real fast. Um, yeah, just going to give him a little smack action. Take your 3,000 medicine, take your 27 medicine, and then make them take the 35 medicine. And then that's it. That's literally all it takes, my boy. So I hope that this tutorial uh, worked out for you, and I hope that it's going to definitely provide some light in your journey. I'll be streaming later on tonight. Um, not sure what time, but I will be streaming later on tonight. So catch me on the stream, my boy. And as always, I keep it dank.